Hello everyone, Oliver Drape here, training and show manager for Hike Vision North UK. What I'm going to show you today is the latest addition to our Ultra Series uh, PTZ family. Uh, the one we've got here today is our DF8C model. Comes in uh, two variants, we've got it in a 4 megapixel and we also have it in an 8 megapixel, uh, the 4K version. The one I've got here is the 4K one, so this is the DS-2DF8C842IXS-AELW. So what makes this PTZ stand out from the rest? Well for starters it has a 42 times optical zoom, so we're capable of monitoring the behaviour of a human target at a kilometre away. As mentioned it's on a 4K version, but it's also a 4K dark fighter, so we're able to get those full colourful images in a dimly lit environment. It also adopts our gyroscopic image stabilisation, meaning when zooming in on a target, uh, on those windy conditions which can sometimes cause the PTZ to shake and wobble and therefore give you an unstable image, the gyroscopic image stabilisation is, uh, is able to uh, maintain that steady image. Now it also adopts our Auto Tracking 3.0 which is the upgrade from the previous 2.0. Now Auto Tracking 2.0 would allow us to do classification of target based on human and or vehicle and therefore track the object depending on which one you configured. Auto Tracking 3.0 still does the human and or vehicle classification target, but it also adopts the further array of VCAs, so it can even support our face capture technology for facial recognition. Meaning what you could do is upload a database of faces to the actual camera itself, upon that face being detected which belongs to that database, it will then commence smart tracking of that person. We can even upload a license plates to a database on here as well, so when a particular license plate is detected, Again, it will then start the smart tracking of that particular vehicle, therefore ignoring the rest of the vehicles in the scene. Also has an uh, auto uh, rain sensing wiper in there as well. Uh, you can manually trigger the, rain, the wiper on there, but in addition to that, it's got that rain sensor on there, so like what you get on most modern cars. So when rain droplets are detected on that sensor, it will trigger the wiper uh, automatically. It also supports our shock detection as well. So if anyone was to try to uh, vandalise the camera and it automatically detects those shocks, what it would do, it would then automatically send an alarm to a monitoring station uh, to alert the security team that the camera was under attack. So it's a great bit of kit, uh, brand new to our uh, PTZ range. Uh, so what we'll do now, we will uh, pop open the box and see what we get inside. So, let's pop up in the box and see what we actually get inside. Okay, so first of all, we have our detachable uh, hood to actually put on top of the camera itself. You also get a pendant attachment which you can use to uh, attach to that hood, mount thus so. We also provide you with some uh, thread uh, seal tape which you can then use to uh, wrap around the actual thread of the pendant mount to prevent any water ingress getting in through there. You also have your um, self amalgamating uh, tape which is like your uh, gum like texture material which you can use to wrap around the electrical components underneath the hood to prevent any water getting onto there. The uh, attachments to go over the cable itself, again, to prevent any water running down the cable. And then a standard Allen key as well. Then finally, underneath the actual uh, foam itself, which is protecting the actual PTZ camera itself, we have the actual PTZ in there. So what we'll do, we'll get the PTZ out of the box and take a closer look at what the PTZ looks like. So here we are underneath on top of the actual camera itself. This is what's located usually under the hood. So what we have here is you have your various uh, alarm inputs, alarm outputs, and your audio in and input and output on there. You have your R uh, RJ45 attachment, which is also uh, PoE, power over ethernet. Uh, you have your RS485 cable, and then if you wanted to, you can also put an independent power supply to this camera as well, which takes AC 24 volts. When installed, as I mentioned, all this goes under the detachable hood, which is supplied with the camera. Simply hooks under and then goes down, fix those uh, bolts there on the side, and that's it installed. 
It is designed to be installed by a single person. Uh, we do provide you with this carry handle which is attached to the uh, safety cable there. Once you finish the install with the actual handle, you simply can just pull out the cable, take the handle off, and then that's loose. And then you've just got the cable there as a safety precaution. So what we'll do, we'll get this camera mounted onto uh, um, a um, wall mount now, and we can take a look at what the actual camera looks like. So here it is. I've currently got this uh, mounted to a wall mount bracket at the moment. Uh, you don't get the wall mount brackets with the PT that it is something you need to purchase uh, separately. The wall mount bracket I'm using is the DS-1603ZJ-P. I've also got it linked up to a, a DS-1600KI keyboard to actually control the pan tilt zoom camera. So as you can see it supports a 360 degree uh, view as well as using the 42 times optical zoom in there as well, capable of monitoring uh, the behavior of a human target at a kilometer away. 4K dark fighter in there, again, it's also available in the four megapixel as well. So again, giving us those full colorful images in a dimly lit environment. Gyroscopic image stabilization, auto tracking 3.0. We can do face capture. We can do our smart events based on our line crossing uh, intrusion detections. We can do person arming, road traffic, vehicle arming there's an array of different features we can enable on this camera as i mentioned as well it also has our shock detection as well so if the camera does uh, experience uh, uh, violence and someone trying to vandalize the camera and it's getting them shocks uh, uh, applied to it it will automatically uh, trigger uh, an alarm as well to alert the alarming center or the monitoring center that the camera is under attack if it has to go to nighttime images, which it can do because the light level drops so much, it does have infrared in there at the sides as well. Uh, the infrared range on this one is 500 meters, so the infrared light on there to give them black and white images can portray it at 500 meters. It's a fantastic bit of kit. If you do want any further information on this one, check the link below um, to look at the data sheet online to get some more information. Alternatively, you can speak to your distributor. They'll be able to provide you information on the device as well, uh, as well as any uh, associated prices for the device. Thank you.